Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, it's half off day, and that means we are headed, well, we're already here. Salvation Army, South Tampa, Florida. This is the small location. It's the better neighborhood, more well off. Wow, look at these people checking out here. Look how much they bought. I think they're resellers. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're gonna run in there. We're only gonna be here about a half hour, 45 minutes, because this store doesn't have a ton of goods. You'll see when I'm in there how small it is. Um, and really, it's just a quick trip for me to spend 15 or $20 and do about 100 to 150 in gross sales. So I'll show you guys, of course, later in the haul video, everything I got from each store. But let's run in here and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we're now inside of uh, the South Tampa. This is the Better Neighborhoods um, Salvation Army. This one's kind of the smaller one of the two, or of the three that are local. That's it. That's the whole store here. Um, yeah, this one's quite a bit smaller than the other ones, but still some quality, some good stuff you can buy from here. Let me show you guys a couple things I already pulled. Check these out. Yep, these are Kids Heelys. They're a size 13C, and they are $6 on sale for three, every, everywhere from 25 to 35 on these, so really good score. Um, of course, I'm going to do a haul video for you guys when I get home, but don't judge me for this next one. These really graphic Obama shirts, whether you agree with him or not, I'm not going to say if I do, I leave that out, but whether you do or you don't, they sell super good. So put your morals aside, bite the bullet, and buy a shirt for a dollar that you can sell for 15, 14, 15 bucks on that shirt. So. I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I got in a haul, but uh, we're going to move to the second store and I will show you guys around that one because this one's really small. It's not going to take me too, too long to get through. All right, I went over to the over to the glassware section and I'm glad I did because we found this for 99 cents and upon further inspection, it's in good shape and upon eBay searching, we found this for anywhere from 15 to 20, so 50 cents, we'll take it. All right, so I just headed out of that store, exactly what I thought. I was in there for 35, 40 minutes and spent $13.93, we'll call it 14 bucks. And um, basically, probably right around 100 to 120 in gross sales. The two Igara shirts, which I'll show you in the haul later, those are the men's warehouse button down dress shirts that I always get. Um, those Igara shirts are typically like 18 to 20 bucks a piece, so we'll call it 36. Uh, the coffee mug's probably 14, so that's 50. The Obama shirt's easily a 10, that's 60. Um, those Healy shoes are probably about $25, so that's 85. Uh, picked up a few t-shirts, $10 a piece, so we're definitely over 100, um, maybe 110, 120. We spent 13.93. Now that's gross sales, of course. We'll do a net on it later, but um, you know, I was in there for 35, 40 minutes, so not too bad. We're gonna head to the not so good part of town. We're gonna get all the stuff that I passed on yesterday and hopefully some more stuff they stock. And then we're gonna head home. Um, it's only noon right now, um, not even noon. So we're gonna, you know, hopefully get done this other store by like 1.30 or 2, maybe 2.30, and then get back to uh, my part of town and do the third store. I'm gonna try to hit all three today. We'll see where I'm at around three o'clock, but we're gonna try to get all three. We're gonna try to spend 100 to 125 dollars and we're going to try to get a gross sale of 600 plus that's my my goal with a net sale of 400 i'm going to try to turn 100 into a 400 total 300 profit today and i know a lot of people are like oh you're going to spend a lot of hours i'll probably only spend like six hours today total shopping total travel time and shopping and my time is my time who cares if i end up making ten thousand dollars at the end of the month who cares how long it took me did I pay my bills? Did I, do I have a good living? Do I have this car? Do I have everything? It doesn't matter how much time I spend. The only time that time comes into play for me is if I'm paying an employee and I have to make sure that their time is worth what they're listing and what they're doing. So always keep that in mind. You value your time however you want to value it. If you don't think you're, you're, you're worth the X amount of hours or X amount of work, then so be it. But you know what? Those of us that want to hustle and those of us that want to get out and work all day and just make sure at the end of the month that the numbers make sense and that we made enough money, that's what we're going to do. So onward march to the not so good part of town. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the second uh, larger 
Salvation Army, this place is huge. It's big and much more stuff. I am killing it. I've been in here all of like 25, 30 minutes and I can't, I'm not gonna go over everything I've got but I've already filled my cart a good bit. Got a cool scrub, dog scrub. We got um, another Kuji shirt. Stocking up on those, they're selling too. Uh, got a pawn shop, gold and silver pawn thing. Got a Donald Trump shirt. Got a Neff shirt. Got a, a Guns and oh look, check it out, Guns and Roses shirt. Tommy Bahama shirt. So much good stuff. I'll show you guys in the um, in the hall later. But um, I'm gonna probably stop doing the recon videos because pretty much everything that I came back here for is not here. I think one of you guys came and took it all. It could have sold to regular customers, but I think somebody took it all. So the recon videos might have to 86 those. Um, it's all part of competition. I mean, I understand. You guys come out, it's fine. I show you what to buy. I don't mind. I just have to get up a little earlier and come here first. But I came to the store second, so if you guys did come here, you beat me to it. No doubt about it. Um, but they were all gone. Every shirt that I showed you yesterday was gone. <laughs> That's all right. I got a lot of great stuff today, so I'm very happy with this. Uh, with what's gonna be in this hall. So we'll do the hall when we get home. I'm taking it all straight to the house. Uh, we'll combine it with the other one. And I'm um, gonna move on to the uh, to the third store now, which is the one closest to my house. And it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock. So get done that and get home and get you guys a good haul. Wednesday half off day video. All right, so I'm back home. We have the haul video. Ended up making all three Salvation Armies today. I'll just go down the line with one two and three because it was like the small store the medium and the large store uh i spent uh what do we spend 33 20 is 53 14 60 about 67 or 68 dollars total um so we'll just go off the total i'm not going to tell you the breakdown of each store but it was like 33 20 and 13 um we'll just start with the first one which is the really tiny store in south tampa that has good stuff, but it's super small. There's hardly anything there. Um, that's the store I only sp spent like $14, 13 or $14 at. But I did get the one score from there you guys saw earlier in the video. And these are the kids' Heelys with the wheels. Great size. This size was selling really well. And uh, a couple pairs sold this week for $25 and $28. And I paid 3 bucks for these shoes. So really great score right there. So that's 28 you guys know I always have to write this down or I forget. Um, so the Heelys should sell. We'll just do 26 just to be safe. A couple sold a little cheaper. But 26 on the Heelys. We got the Epcot Center. Sorry for the paper noise. We got that Epcot Center coffee mug that was selling for $15. Every single one of them, $15 it went for. Um, paid $0.50 cents for it. So I don't think we'll have a problem selling that pretty quickly. And it's really lightweight. I'm actually going to weigh it on the scale right now. Let's see what it weighs. Got the scale right here. Got our trusty scale. Let's see what the mug weighs. Mug weighs 12 ounces, so we should be able to skirt it first class. We got 4 ounces to play with. Have to get a really lightweight box and some bubble, but we might be able to make it work. We'll see. So, that's the mug. All right, let's go over the clothes that we got there. Got this is like a 3D pattern Disney shirt for kids. Pretty cool. It's probably only like eight or nine bucks, but Disney stuff sells really well. So we'll do eight. Uh, let's see. This is a men's tap out MMA Ultimate Fighting dry fit shirt. That's easy ten dollars. I always sell that stuff really well, and it's dry fit. Got a uh, Luke Bryan concert shirt. You know how much I love concert shirts, and it's got a good graphic of him. We'll put eight on that, so that's 26. Love him or hate him, the shirts sell. We've sold so many of these. It's an Obama shirt, and it'll definitely get $10. So that's 36. It says the dream came true, Obama. Obviously, this is made back when he became president. It's got glitter, it's graphics, good size, so $36. And then we got two Igara shirts. I've told you guys about these shirts before. They're men's warehouse. I own about five or six of these personally. These are $100 brand new. Even if you buy them on half off 
buy one get one half off uh, you're still paying 50 bucks or buy one get one free you're paying 50 uh, so used market these go for twenty dollars all day long and they cost me two bucks a piece or 250 a piece um, half off so let me show you the tag one more time so you know what to look for they say Egara, E-G-A-R-A, look them up. Extra large is like their best selling size. And then that's the tag. It's an E with like a lime green on it. So 20 a piece on these, that's 40 bucks. And we were already at 36. So that's 76 worth of clothing. So it looks like that store is going to be uh, 30, 41, 47, 117 worth of gross sales. We'll do the net sales after that. So that was store one. Uh, store two is the big one. This is where I bought a lot from. This is the one that's not in a good part of town, but it's the biggest store. It was just super busy. I circled the parking lot like four times uh, before I finally found a parking spot. And I had to wait for a cart forever. I waited in line to check out forever. This store cost me a lot of time. I spent more time parking and checking out than I did actually shopping in this store. Um, their women's clothing at that store are super overpriced. I don't even go in the women's section. All guys section for this one. But let's go over what we got there. A lot of t-shirts here. But a lot of good ones. These were all a dollar. These are half off. This is a Guns N' Roses. This is a vintage. Um, this is actually, I looked up the tag in the store. This is one that was made uh, late 80s, early 90s. And a couple comparables on eBay were dated 91, I think. Um, so... This is probably a fifteen or twenty dollars shirt, um, so we'll just put fifteen on it. I always put what I think like low end would be, just to be safe. But there were some of those sold for like twenty seven. This is a Neff shirt. Those of you that don't know what Neff is, he makes clothing for like skaters and snowboarders, kind of like the alternative clothing brand. It's really popular. Um, these shirts we sold quite a few of them. It's probably sell for like nine bucks. This is super cool. I'm so glad I got this. I might keep this. It's brand new. It still has the tags on it. I paid two bucks for it. But, um, whoa, we lost focus. What happened there? There we go. Sorry about that. It's from the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas. This is the shirt they sell inside of the store you can buy. Um, they were selling, they sell new at the store for $25. When you go to Vegas and you buy this, it's $25. Bucks. Uh, selling it brand new on eBay, you're going to get like $16, you know, $16, $17 for it. Discounted, obviously, but I only paid two bucks for it, so I'll just put that I'm probably gonna get 14 out of it, just to be safe. Uh, we got another Kuji uh, T-shirt, which this one was a uh, dollar, which is shocking. It's authentic. I'm starting to learn these brands and these these uh, tags on Kuji. I actually saw one the other day. I passed on because it looked really, really suspicious and fake, so I let it go. It probably wasn't, but it just looked weird to me after all the research I did. So. Pick these up. Probably 12 bucks on that one. Alright, Guy Harvey shirts. Every single Guy Harvey shirt I sold this week sold for $9.50 or $9.99. I'll keep picking them up. If they sell as quick as they sell, I'll pick them up for a dollar all day. Um, this is a cool Disneyland shirt. Disneyland California. It says Ride the Rails with Mickey. And it's got the train. Disney stuff again, really super good. It's a dollar, can't let it go for that. All right, let's keep moving along here. Uh, this is a ride that just opened at Tampa's Bush Gardens. It's called Cobra's Curse. Um, theme park shirts tend to sell well. My my uh, Universal Studios shirts, but this one's got good graphics. It's a new ride just opened. It's got the snake, and quite a few of these actually sold comparably on eBay for like eleven. I saw one for nine. So I'll just assume it's going to sell for nine. Um, we got oh we got this cool uh, nurses or vet. This is actually for a vet. It's got dogs and cats all over it, and it says canine survival. They've got like umbrellas and totem poles. It's kind of like the survivor theme, uh, you know, uniform top here, smock top, whatever you want to call it. Ten bucks, like every other one. This is the store I spent uh, 33 in. I think it was like 33.97. Um, Tommy Bahama. This is a white silk, extra large. It's great. I don't get a lot of white ones, so paid 350 for this. This tag is a little weird, but 
I looked it up, and most of the white ones have this. I think it's because on the darker ones, it's easier to see the emblem. But on this lighter one, because it's such a light color, it kind of they had to kind of make it stand out, so they made it different. But I think this should uh, this should go for sixteen. White seems to sell good in Tommy Bahama because it's a light colored shirt. Most people wear those to like vacations and islands and Hawaii and and um and to like uh, cruise ships and stuff like that. So they want those lighter colors for where it's hot. So that one should sell good. All right, I got this one. This was a stab in the dark. I've never heard of this, but I love the shirt. It's called Island Shores Island Wear, but I love the color. And this one I got for two fifty. This is like a coral orange type color. Two fifty, I'll take it. Even if I get twelve out of it, which most of my button downs always get at least twelve, but if I just get twelve out of it, I'll be happy. As soon as I walked in the store, this was on the end cap, and I had to take it. Donald J. Trump Executive Edition shirt. Of course, it's a button-down. Sleeves on it. If it was my size, I would keep it, but it's definitely not. This is a 15 and a half, 32. I, I can't wear this. I mean, it, maybe. It, it'd probably swallow me, though. It's huge. Anyways, these Donald J. Trump shirts, ever since he won the election, I've been keeping an eye on them. They're still selling. That's easily an $18 shirt. I should get more than that, but... And then the find of the day. These are called Foursquare. And everybody was probably laughing at these, and I put it on Instagram earlier. Check them out. They're crazy, but these are actually official, high-quality snowboard pants. You see the design. That's Foursquare's design. These were actually about 150 bucks brand new. If you go on their website right now, they're very, very expensive. They're insulated. They're double-layered. They have the hooks. Very, very expensive. Uh, this is same exact pair I ended up finding on eBay. The exact same size, everything. Sold for $60 four days ago. So these were $3.50. There's the tag. They were 7 bucks because the store doesn't know what these are. Paid $3.50. $60 is what the other person sold them for. So there were other ones that were similar, not the same, that were $40, $50. Saw a pair for $80. I'm just going to put $60 because that was like right in the middle and what those sold for. So... Um, that's that store. Let's total that up. That's uh, 20, 33, 42, 52, 56, 58, 68, 78, 88, 97, 106, 122, 132, 142, 202, 204, about $204 gross on store number two. Let's go to the last one, which is the one that's in between. It's medium size. It's close to my house. They didn't have crap today, but it's probably because I didn't get to that store until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, had I gone there first, I would have done better. But by the end of the day, it's picked over really bad. Let me get this stuff. Alright, so spent like, I don't know, $19 in this store. This is a J. Crew. I spent uh, 2 bucks on this. J. Crew long sleeve, which I'm looking for more long sleeve right now. J. Crew seems to sell okay. Uh, it's probably like 9 bucks. For that one, got another Tommy Bahama floral. Floral prints do okay. This one was only two fifty. I know people are saying that Tommy Bahama's down in price, and it is, but it's still pretty po profitable when you're only paying two to three dollars an item, and it sells. It sells very quickly, so you shouldn't have too much trouble moving it and not keeping it, you know, in stock. Um, so we'll put that one, you know, sixteen dollars for that Tommy Bahama. This is just a little Hollister. It had gemstones on it, so I bought it. Paid a dollar for it. I'll just put it at eight. Um, this is, I think this is, oh, another Tommy Bahama. Oh, this is the woman's Tommy Bahama sleeveless dress, silk dress. This was awesome. Um, look these up, 20 to 25 bucks. I'll put it at 20 for our list, but I'm going to definitely try to get more out of it. That was uh, two fifty. It was five dollars half off. Um, motorcycle shirt. It's not Harley, but it had good graphics, so I think I'll get eight out of it. Paid a dollar. Got a Tweety smock top, scrub top here. It says nurses are oh so tweet. And it's a medium, so it'll sell good, good size. Mediums seem to sell on these pretty well. $10, paid 
uh, what did I pay? A dollar fifty for that. Keep rolling. This is another Tommy Bahama, I think. Yes, and see, this one has a big tag too. These are the older style. These big, wide Tommy Bahama tags are wider. This one was two dollars and fifty cents. Try to get fifteen out of that. And then the last one, one of my favorite brands. This is uh, J. Jill. Kind of a cute little top. Probably about a twelve dollar top. Paid a dollar fifty for that. So if we total that up, it's twenty seven, thirty six, forty six, fifty two, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety eight dollars from that store, giving us a total of uh, let's see, three hundred two, four hundred two, four twelve, about four hundred twenty dollars. We spent uh, sixty seven or sixty eight bucks. Now. The net on 420, remember we're, we lose 30% on all fees, shipping, everything. So the net on that is right at $300. So we're going to turn 60 into 300, so times 67, so about times four and a half times the money. Um, with a lot of good brands that I think will sell really quick. So uh, if you still aren't going to Salvation Army on half off day, Go to them, and if you've got multiples, go to those. I need to start trying to source more out of it because the money is there. There's a ton of stuff. problem I'm seeing lately is a lot of resellers. I saw so many people on their phones today looking stuff up. Uh, somebody came up to me that recognized me. Uh, Raquel, how you doing? Um, just a lot of people in there buying, so get out there early. Uh, I don't mind it. Competition is what it is, but there's just a lot of people going. So um, if you're going to plan to go and you're in an area with good population like I have, make sure you're out there. Uh, you know, if not when they open, not long after. And go to as many of them as you can. If I'd only gone to one, I wouldn't have made very much money. But going to all three makes the day worth it. Uh, total travel time and shopping time, probably about four to five hours. Uh, got home at four or something. And left out of here around, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So, yeah, probably about five hours total. So that's the whole video for tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. It's Q&A Thursday. Make sure you're here. Uh, the link is already up. If you don't know how to join it, just go to my main channel. And right there under the upcoming videos is the link. Click on it and bookmark it. And then you can come back on Thursday, which is tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. No guests this week. Uh, I'll be on my own, but that's okay. First time I've been on my own in a couple weeks. So I will see you guys tomorrow night. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, YouTube has been unsubscribing people for no reason at all. I know you probably did subscribe to me, but just double check and make sure you still are subscribed to me. Go to the main thing where my channel is and to the right, just underneath of my box, it'll be over here, will be that subscribe button. It should say subscribed, E-D at the end, subscribed. If it doesn't and it says the word subscribe, singular, make sure you click the subscribe button because YouTube is just randomly booting people off of other people's channels. So just double check that for me, guys. It means a lot. Appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.